shorter video today um, done a few things to the Ecto here uh, found out uh, this coming weekend there's a comp that's actually fairly close by um, about an hour away but that's the closest comp that I've actually heard of uh, to my location anyways so we'll go over couple things that I've done to the Ecto and just wanted to come out here and give it the first test drive since I've been wrenching on it. Uh, first thing I did after the last video that it was in, uh, I went ahead and put the 12% overdrive or technically underdrive gears in the transmission. Uh, be interesting to see how this thing does with the extra overdrive in it um, and then last night I went ahead and tore all the shocks apart cleaned them out and put some uh, new fluid in them uh, did a little bit of swapping around on the springs and then I went ahead and did a bunch of wheel tire and foam swapping around I wanted to get some more weight down low on this thing and right now the only way I've got to do that is putting these bead locks that's on here now on here they're a good bit heavier than the slots that I usually have on this truck but right now I've got the Amazon bead locks that originally came on my, or I originally got for my 6x6, and then uh, got Proline dual stage foams, and then the uh, Proline crawlers, the Predator compound on here. Uh, I may go ahead and swap out to one of the better servos than my other trucks just so I can have a little bit of extra strength I'm not sure exactly what this course is going to be like but you know, around here the only thing the only thing I've got going on is basically a trailing kind of a course never actually done any comps before I've never even actually been present at a comp before so I'm excited to check it out and see what it's all about. So we're just out here testing the setup today and see what else I need to change before I well, go to my first comp. <laughs>
there's something most people don't got to deal with on their crawler pours. Got these bovine creatures that tend to screw everything up. They're all the time knocking all my rocks loose, breaking boards, rutting everything up when it gets muddy like it is right now. It's a challenge out here, that's for sure. definitely makes a difference. It wouldn't pull straight up that ledge before like that. If it pulls this on a slow crawl, oh my goodness. That is one heck of an improvement, especially with the conditions today. Holy cow. No pun intended, kind of. That is awesome. And I really don't have any kind of expectations for this comp next weekend. Like I said, I've never been to a comp, never competed, I've never even built a comp rig, so to speak. So. I just want to go for the experience, have fun, and I mean, I'm very happy with how my Ecto is performing here at my course, so I'm just curious to see how it does you know, on an actual crawler course. Man, this thing is just blowing my mind. This overdrive made all the difference in the world. I still haven't fixed that transition yet. can't believe how much of a difference that made it's it's pulling stuff that it wouldn't pull on a dry day I'm thinking about maybe doing something with that front bumper but if I do anything there then I'm gonna have to take my DSM winch off and then I'm gonna have to redo it that's kind of a pain, so just not sure how I feel about that just yet. With being on the less than a limited budget like I am currently, it's hard to really prepare for anything hard to change anything I mean everything that I've wrenched on built modified in the last you know, four months now has all been stuff that I've just had on hand I'm starting to get to the point where I'm having withdrawals from buying new RC parts struggle is real right now uh, definitely tough I enjoy wrenching and building just as much as I enjoy driving so, this time of year is usually when I do most of my building and wrenching because it's horrible weather can't do a whole lot outside can't build on the course can't hardly drive on the course usually when my big projects happen it's not happening right now
Hopefully that changes soon. No, I can't take too much more of this being completely burnt thing. Man, I am just blown away by the, how this thing is doing today. I mean, I don't know if you can see in the videos, but I mean, the rocks are all muddy and wet. This thing is just eating it up. Luckily, my tires aren't packed yet, but I feel like that's going to change here pretty quick. We're going up on the hillside next. I highly doubt that it's going to happen, but we're going to go for the whole shebang here. The hard line, top to bottom. Hopefully, my tires don't get packed too full. Definitely a possibility here on this one. Oh yeah, it's real slick here. I think this is gonna happen today. Maybe if I bump it just right. Oh man, tires are getting caked already. Yep. This ain't good. He's definitely digging for it, that's for sure. But man, that overdrive is something. Oh, and I lost it. Well, I'm gonna have to try to wiggle my way across this log. This is a tough spot. There it went. Intruders. I had to go shoo the cows away. They were starting to tear stuff up down at the bottom there. Man, this stuff is slippery. Oh, yeah, just. Cake the tires up, would you? I do not want a fighting chance to get up this at all. I really don't think this is going to happen. Not today. Now 
tires are completely caked in mud. I might as well run the rest of the little rock trail up here. I'm even having a hard time standing up on this. I feel like this is probably a mistake also, but well, I'll give it a shot. No freaking way. Holy moly. My mind is officially blown, a hundred percent. On a day like today, not even this truck would pull that climb before without a ton of wheel speed. That's just crazy. I'm definitely sold now. I'm, I'm for sure a believer in some serious overdrive. Even though this isn't serious overdrive, but it is for me. I'm really curious to see what like a 30% a overdrive would be like now. This 12% is just rocking my whole world. <laughs> Even with tires caked in mud.
up in the hole over there. There is why I need a better servo. burning this servo up before this weekend even gets here. Oh, Got both my mirrors turned upside down. Does that bother anybody else? If you've even got mirrors on your truck, you get out on the trail somewhere and tip over or clip a rock. You know, mirrors and uh, clevises or D-hooks, whatever you want to call them, they get flipped up. I don't know why, that stuff just really bothers me. Man, Man I don't think this is going to happen. Something about that, I can't stand to look at it. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video at least a little bit today. I think I'm gonna call it. My tires are too caked in mud. And not really learning a whole lot like that. So, I'll take her back and get her cleaned up. And maybe tinker with it a little bit more. And dig around and see what kind of service I got laying around. I'm sure I got something I can throw in here, but anyways, that's all I got for today. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.